Welcome to the fabrication segment of the Technology Showcase. Today we will be discussing routing. So what is routing? Routing allows us to connect HVAC, tubing, piping, and wiring to parts and assembly. So let's go ahead and jump into the SOLIDWORKS software and we'll show you how it's done. What we're going to do is we are going to connect this manifold to these two actuators over here on the left. So how we do this is we want to first make sure that our routing add-in is turned on. So under the SOLIDWORKS add-ins tab, go ahead and select routing. Next thing that we want to do is go ahead and jump into the design library and let's go ahead and scroll all the way down to where we see routing, tubing, and then the tube fittings. So the first thing that we want to do is drop in the straight fitting on the manifold. So it's a nice drag and drop functionality which makes it smooth and simple. When you drop in the fitting, it will ask you which configuration we want. In this example, we, would, we want to do the 0.25 inch tube and the 3 8 MPT. Go ahead, select OK, and it will bring up the routing properties. In the routing properties on the left, I want to use a flexible tube, and I want to make sure that the bend radius is large so I don't have any kinking going on in the route. Go ahead and hit the green check. And we're going to do the same thing for two other fittings. So now that we have the manifold completed, we're going to go ahead and hop over to the actuator side of the assembly. And that is over here on the left. We're going to swing around and drop in the fittings to the actuators. So the same thing, we're going to click design library. We're going to find our tube fittings in the list. And let's go ahead and drop in the same fittings. Once again, we want the 0.25 inch tube and the 3 8 inch MPT fitting. Select OK. It will ask you if you want to do another instance and let's drop it on the other actuator. So now that we have all the fittings in the assembly, let's go ahead and do the route. Let's select the tubing since that's what we want to route and we're going to use auto route. So this is a really slick tool that allows us to auto route based on the inputs that we put in the route properties. Select Auto Route, and very simply, we can select points as well as axes, and very quickly and easily, we create the first route. Go ahead and hit the green check, and let's hop into Auto Route again. We can't do two routes in one, it needs to be separate, so in the bill of materials, the routing lengths will all make sense. One more axis and then we'll finish off the route, hit the green check, and exit the sketch, and exit editing the part. If you notice, the route puts it into an, a little bit of a purple color. That lets you know it's a route. If you want it to look like the actual tube, go ahead and head to the appearances. Let's select rubber, and go to the glossy rubber, drag and drop the appearance on, and now we have the rubber tube route for our air hoses. And that's it. That's how easy it is using SOLIDWORKS routing to connect parts in our assemblies using tubing, piping, and wiring. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to follow along with the technology showcase, please click here for the sheet metal portion and here for the weldments portion.